hello there, Saturday morning. You're looking pretty frickin' fantastic. Perfect temperature, nice and sunny. Air is fairly fresh. I think it's gonna be a good day. I've actually been up for a little bit. Uh, started editing my, or finishing, started finishing editing my video from yesterday. I just got too tired last night. I started it, got it all laid out, and then didn't finish it. I just couldn't keep my eyes open. And I wanted to go to bed and had a fairly good night's sleep. Although I was crowded by this one right here. She was a little tight up against me, kept pushing me out of bed. It's amazing what a 40 pound dog can do. So I need to finish my edit. It's about 10 o'clock. Need to get my video posted and then uh, have some breakfast in there some point. Get ready and Vanessa has a uh, performance at two o'clock but we need to be there at one. I'm going with her because I wanna see them play. And it's a fair drive out. It's probably about an hour or so away up to the, what is that? The northeast of the city, Fountain Hills. So it's a bit of a drive. That's all right. I haven't been out there much, so that's part of why I want to go out there too. Go out on a little adventure. All right, I'm off to get breakfast burritos because Vanessa needs a good hearty breakfast uh, before her performance today. And we didn't really have the food in the house to cook a big breakfast. So I'm off to get burritos. And then... Uh, we got about an hour and a half before we have to leave, so I'm already showered. I just need to put some nicer clothes on. Vanessa's gonna shower while I'm getting breakfast, so it's gonna take her a while to get ready. Um, there you go, I sneezed again. Uh, and update on my nose. It exploded this morning while I was in the shower. So it's really pretty now. All right, I'm stuffed. Bacon breakfast burrito, and a whole bunch of jalapeno carrots, and a whole bunch of hot sauce. Oh, that'll do me for at least until late afternoon, maybe this evening. So I'm happy with that. And also, Vanessa got me a surprise last night. She got me this thing. She ordered it off at Amazon. It was like a deal of the day. It's actually got a camera on it. Not super high quality or anything. Um, and this isn't one of those like super expensive drones, which is good because I'll probably crash it. Uh, maybe even lose it, who knows. But I'm gonna give it a try. It'll be some, it'll be a little bit of fun, I'm sure. So let's see what happens. Hey, welcome to Fountain Hills, Arizona. It's my first time here, I've driven by it, but ha not actually been here before. Um, we stopped and got coffee rush on the way here. Vanessa's all ready for her performance. Uh, they still need to set up. There's an hour before the performance. So I have some time to go find some place and sit down and do some editing. Also, uh, I crashed my drone. It's a good thing it was a cheap one. I didn't break it though. I did lose it for a little bit, but I found it. Uh, probably wasn't the greatest idea to play around with it in the backyard since it doesn't have GPS and it doesn't have stabilization or anything like that it relies on you to control it and the trim on it was a little off so when I started and took off it took off over the neighborhood and ended up crashing in a neighbor's yard yeah so I got it back though I snuck into their yard, I went out in the alley, snuck into the yard and grabbed it. So, no loss, and I don't think it's any worse for the wear, but it was a little scary. So I'll have to take it somewhere more wide open to figure out how to get it working properly so I don't lose it in the future. Because that thing can go up high, it can go up like hundreds of feet high. So I don't want to take it up hundreds of feet and then have it like take off somewhere, because then I'll never get it back. I have officially seen something I've never seen before. You gotta check this out. Hold on a second. Oh, 
Let me zoom in for you. That is a giant plume of water. I can't even imagine the kind of power it would take to shoot that that high up in the air. That's got to go, that's hundreds of feet into the air, if not a thousand feet. That is crazy. I'd love to see that up close. This is cool. That's awesome. Aww. Look, you got shot through the heart. Sorry, dude. This got hurt. Okay, that is a cool bench. I like that. Okay, if I've ever wanted a sculpture, it would be that one. That is the coolest. That is amazing. That's just beautiful. That's who did it, right there. Give credit where credit is due. That is awesome. That's it, performance is over, and it was awesome. And Vanessa was awesome, everybody was awesome. I haven't seen them play before, so that's cool. I'm glad she got back in a group, a new group. They're really good, and uh, really added to Christmas this year, I think. So, I'm a happy camper. Now I just gotta wait for them to pack everything up. That's the one part of play playing handbells. It's a pain in the butt setting up all the tables and the foam and laying out all the handbells. And then after you're done and tired, you gotta put everything away, load it back up. Guess who's glad we're home? These ones, that one. Where'd the other one go? Where's the other one? That one too. Yep. So far today has been a super Christmassy day. And it's, oh, whoa, Lucy. And it's only gonna get Christmas here. Lucy, what are you saying? All right, as it turns out, Vanessa is too tired for the thing in downtown Chandler tonight. So I'm heading down there on my own, which I'm totally okay with. Kind of bummed that Vanessa's not gonna be with me, but I understand. And she's okay with me going down because she's just gonna be taking it easy, relaxing, who knows, she might fall asleep. So I'm gonna walk down. It's a 1.7 mile walk. Google tells me it'll take 37 minutes. I have about 45 minutes until the parade starts. So I think I'll make it just in time. Halfway there, making great time. Although for some reason, my left shin is really angry at me. I'm gonna have to whip it into submission. Currently walking past the Crown Plaza San Marcos Golf Resort, established in 1913. Apparently, it's a pretty dope ass place. My shin is actually feeling a little better. Just gotta power through things. 
Could you tell me what language that's written in? Because whatever it is, I don't think I speak it. Okay, I'm here. Google told me 37 minutes. I did it in 12. Apparently my body only knows one speed tonight, and that is light speed. Hoverboards and droves. Herds. Oh man. They're starting to piss me off like e-cigarettes. So I'm guessing the parade is going to come by somewhere over there behind me. This around or through the intersection or something. And tumbleweed tree is over there. The white one. Did you see that? I hope you saw it. There are a lot of people here. It's uh, intimidating. And there's food booths too. I see kettle corn over there. I don't want any. Maybe some sushi. No, I'm gonna have dinner with Vanessa when I'm done here. Looks like we're about 12 deep along the parade route here. I don't know if getting close will be an option. I don't want to call Maybe I should just go stand out in the road like everybody else. And he did it to his, I mean, look at that. Here's the tumbleweed tree. I haven't lit it yet. It's made of tumbleweeds. You just pile them all up on a frame. And then they paint them with a thick lead-based paint. No, no lead. Uh, some sort of white paint, and then there's like glittery stuff all over there too. I don't know if that's painted on there, or blue, or what that is. But it's all glittery and shiny. So I guess if you're going to make a Christmas tree out of something in Arizona, tumbleweeds will be the best thing, because there's lots of them around. There is a stage for music. I don't know if they're going to have any. All the restaurants are packed, no surprise there. Uh, I think you can get a picture with Santa over here too. Let me check. I think Santa's on a break. Yeah, I think uh, Santa went to go get a beer or two. Ooh, Bouncy Castle. It's a good thing I didn't want to get anything to eat because every place has a line about 50 people long. Parade starts in five minutes. I think the further down I go, the better chance I have of getting anywhere near the curb. Oh yeah, this is better already. No, this isn't better at all. Not at all. At least all the lights are pretty. Last time I saw this many people was at the Gay Pride Parade in New York. Here come the parade. That's exciting. Everything is all lit up. You're gonna like this.
sure we're in intermission. If there is such a thing in a parade. see here move along that is the first Christmas slash Santa Claus parade I've seen in quite a very long time and the first one where I didn't freeze my butt off so that was a different experience I saw about 15 dance academies like four or five high school bands and then like a dozen alternative schools slash prep academies and then a whole bunch of like businesses that just threw some lights on their trucks and then a whole bunch of like girl scout and boy scout troops and all of that stuff it was kind of cool i've never seen a parade like that before so i liked it but oh my gosh all these peoples how am I ever going to get out of here? All these people, and I didn't see one person that I knew. And, okay, tip for parents. Teach your kids to look where they're walking. Seriously. Okay, didn't see anybody I knew. And I haven't made any new friends so far. Nobody's come up to the crazy guy talking to himself. I wanted to be his friend. Now, every single person that was lining the parade route was trying to crowd around the Christmas tree for the lighting. It's not working out so well. I made it through the Hoover Dam of humanity. It was crazy in there. For a minute, I thought it was lights out. I have decided in the name of my sanity and safety to not stay for the lighting of the tree. Because I know once that happens, it's gonna be like the running of the bulls through here. And I don't wanna get gored or stampeded. It just doesn't sound like fun. So I came down, I saw the people, I saw the parade, I saw the tree unlit. I think Vanessa and I can come by here some night. I've been talking about coming over here for dinner. So we can come down here some night see the tree all lit up without all the people and i think that sounds like a grand plan so i'm gonna call vanessa let her know i'm on my way home and we'll be eating food soon and decorating a christmas tree so i think all in all awesome night now i gotta get my walk on okay totally not safe i'm wearing a black hoodie 
black shorts, black shoes, and I'm wearing a black backpack, and it's dark out, there's no sidewalks, and I'm walking in the street. A statistic waiting to happen. But my head's on a swivel. I know where everything is. I see all. Well, I'm on the home stretch. Less than half a block to go until I'm home. So that's going to be my day. Got some good exercise this evening, that's for sure. Sorry, there's probably a lot of really blurry shots of me. But for some reason, that's what's going on with my camera. Especially when the light gets low. So thank you for joining me again today. A little bit of a bummer that Vanessa didn't come along tonight, but that's okay. I totally understand. I love you, Vanessa. It's okay. We've got lots to do together over the next few weeks. And I understand you're really tired. I don't blame you. I know you've been working hard. All right, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Um, Vanessa's got another concert tomorrow. I think I'm going with her. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so on with the week or weekend. Peace, love, and a whole lot of exercise. <laughs>